Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make 3D landscape on scratch and I'm going to show you how it works. So this is a 3D forest. I can move forward. I can turn right and left. And I can move backwards. And now it's night. Let's go deep into the forest. And now let's make it. So I need some costumes for this project so I have some trees some bushes and some rocks so now let's make the code so I need to make a clone of all of these costumes so first I should take a green flag option then add a show block then I will add a repeat block I'll keep it 300 times so it will make 300 tunes so then I will keep switch costume so it should take a random costume so pick random from 1 to so to know which number that is I have 9 costumes so I should keep nine here and then keep a add a clone block here and then a hide block at the end so these will just make some clones like this now we need to create three variables which are x y z and m for the sprite only so i'll delete the my variable and create a variable called x for this variable only y for the sprite only z for the sprite only and m for the sprite only so the x y z is for the directions and the m is to make the 3d count a little realistic Now let's uh, make the sprites spread everywhere. So to make it faster, I will make a custom block called start. start. And keep uh, tick the run without screen refresh and click OK. So in this custom block, we should uh, set the Y variable to zero. Then we can just, uh, we need to set the x to 0 and the y to minus 200. And then switch costume to tree 1. We'll just uh, switch costume to this one. So after that, it should set the x variable to minus 10 and then show and then we need to keep set z to 28 and then I need to set the X to a random um, minus 100 and 50. And then duplicate this. Now select Z here. And here I should keep 
500 minus 500 to 500 now I need to keep a I need to add a forever loop so I'll just stick a forever block and now keep a go to block then I need to uh, I need to take a multiply block and a division block in the this place and then set x and z here and 300 here now duplicate this and the changes you need to do is delete the x and add y there and then add 20 here next it should set set size to so i'll just duplicate this and keep it here i'll delete these x and add three here and four fifty so so this will just uh, make the so this block will just uh, make it uh, look like it's far or near and the go to block will just um, make it spread so now if up arrow key is pressed it should change z by minus 1.5 which will make it go forward so i'll duplicate this and add down arrow and just delete the minus to make it go backwards now we are going to make the turning so add an if block now add right right arrow key and now we are going to set m to x and then set x to so we should set x to so first keep a add a minus block then add a multiply block here and now i need to add a cost block cos of 2 and then add the x here now I need to duplicate this just this and add it here this time I will keep z not there okay like that and change this place to sign now I will duplicate this whole thing and add it below it and this time I'll keep it Z here, delete the X and keep M there. Why does it always go like that? So I'll keep it like that and here I need to keep it 5 and I need to keep, I need to add sign here and cause here and also one more change just, just a second i took five here and now 
take these two out and delete the minus block and add a positive block and insert these two here. So this is for the right turning. Now for the left turning, it's very simple. Just duplicate it and delete this. Just duplicate it and add it below it. So the changes you need to do is, you can just uh, simply change all of these to minus. Like this. Okay, so now we are gonna make the program. So when the tree is uh, hitting the edge, it should hide. So I need to add an if else block and then keep an add an or block and then I need to keep a keep a this block at this side I need to keep 235 with the apps of, of the X position and at the other side you need to keep this block with zero at this side and a Z at this side and now in the if condition I'll keep hide and at the else condition I'll keep show and now this will just uh, make make the program so where when the tree is hitting the edge it will hide so now now the last one is it should go forward by size the layer should be like in the size so now let's see how it works okay, there's some kind of problem yeah so the last step is uh, so we didn't program for the clones so i will add a when i start as a clone i will add this block here then it will work Okay, it's a little slow. It's stuck. Okay, so I'll... Okay, it's just going so slow. It's just a problem in my side. So, I have found the problem, so... In the defined block, the run without screen refresh can't work when there's a forever block. So just untick it and come back. So now it will work. Now you can see that so many trees are coming. And now we can move the forward and backward. There might be a problem again. So the problem is I kept the uh, right for both the turnings so I need to change this to left so it can turn. There, now it's turning. Now I need to add a sky and a ground. So go to the backdrop take a square and change the color to green for making the ground with no outlines okay this much is enough and then a blue square for the sky I'll make it go back like that okay I need to erase this Need to make this more higher. 
Now that's better. So only these trees are coming. So what I have to do is the trees, the problem is So the problem is I don't need this such costume to tree. So I'll just keep it there. Now you can see that so many different kinds of trees are coming. And that's it. So I'm just gonna go deep into the forest. And it's a very big forest here. Yeah? And if you like my video, please subscribe and click the bell icon. And thanks for watching.